It's on. All right, Salawam. All right, Salawam. Giving our praises out and glory. Unto the Hawa, my Shem, Yahweh Shai, my Shem, Kakadash. Coming back, well, coming with a quick lesson through the Spirit. I'm the Brother Lawyer. This is the Brother Squat with the great uh, Millstone Nashville camp. Uh, and, right. to, and today's lesson will be, what's it called again? Uh, prophecy speaking more clear. So yeah, prophecy is speaking more clear every day and every day. You know, more signs are coming out. And so- Speak we, up a little bit. Oh, uh, Salaki, can, can, you, can you come up a little bit? All right, Salaki. Sure. All right, yeah, so prophecies are speaking more and more clear every day, each and every day, each and every hour. So I started off with Habakkuk 2 at the top it says I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved and the Lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it so the prophecies all right it says make it plain upon tables today your tables the, the, what, the tables that we have are, are the scriptures Back in the day, they wrote them on stone or, or tablets. Today, the book, the scriptures are the tablets, all right? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Now, right now, it seems like, you know, it's taking a while for certain prophecy to pop off, but you know, Esau, he do gradualism. So uh, over time and over time, he will show you, hey, uh, I'm gonna bring this to pass. You know, like like the microchip. They're bringing it forth, which is the mark of the beast. They're bringing it forth in different stages. You know, you have your, your Google Pay, your, your Amazon uh, Pay by your hand, right? You're getting programmed to, uh, uh, to take that chip. You know, if you got something to add to yeah, the Bitcoin as well. Yeah, the Bitcoin. You can go ahead. All right. This is um Second Ezra 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently, diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou well understand that is the that it is that it is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Alright? Now, you know. This is why Yahweh Shah told us to measure the time diligently because at the rate things are going in, in the planet Earth in Babylon the Great mostly, you know, you have, you know, as well as you have, as well as you have in other um, places as well, like China, you got China, you know, bringing forth the um, digital currency. You have, uh, you have, uh, you know, uh, all sorts of types of, Places, you know, bringing bring it forth, you know, uh, prophecy, you know, and everything is coming to pass speedily, you know. So that's why Yahweh Shimashi told us to measure out the time diligently in itself. All right, Salakia. All right, it says, Then shall thou well understand that it's the highest, the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So Yahweh Shai is going to visit the world, you know, due to. The things that he's that, that 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 you know, basically it's prophecy. You know, going back to Revelation 13, 13 and, and verse sixteen. You know, the mark the mark of the beast has to come to pass. You know, so prophecy is speaking more clear. You know, and it says, then shall thou will understand that the, that the Most High spake of those things. Slaki, I'm gonna read verse three. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world. Then shalt thou will understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. You know, so you know these things were spoken, spoken. You know, in, um, you know, from since since the beginning. You know, uh, by the prophets. You know, the prophets are the ones who are bringing out these uh, these declarations. All right. You know, you gotta go. All right. This is from Matthew 24, 37, 39, because as you see. You know, everything is normal. It looks normal. You know, it's a beautiful, warm day. Everybody's at peace and at ease, right? So this is Matthew 24 and 37. But as in the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days 
that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So going back to Habakkuk, the vision is yet for an appointed time, right? The Lord is giving his uh, uh, prophets, uh, uh, basically, the Lord is showing his prophets what's to come to pass, right? Everybody else, they don't have uh, the spiritual eyes and the spiritual ears to see and hear, right? So as in the days of Noah, people are gonna, are gonna act like everything's the same, right? Because physically, the mark of the beast hasn't been implemented. World War III is in the stages of popping off, but it hasn't full blown popped off. You know, Jacob's trouble is in, is in the works. That hasn't happened when the, uh, the so-called white man Esau Edom with his military and these other nations that's gonna be in his military come for you Jakes, us Jakes, right? All that hasn't happened yet. So everything is for a point in time. The buildup is here, it's here. So pay attention, you know, and, and you gotta be circumspect. Watch your surroundings, look at what time frame you in. That's right. You know, and so that's what it's about. You got something else out? Yeah, I got something. All right. Isaiah 47 and one, verse one. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and, tender and delicate. You know, so you have, you know, prophecy, which is, you know, uh, you know, speaking loud and clear, like like the title says, you know. Uh, I'm gonna read verse two. It says, take the take the millstones and grind mill, uncover the lock, uncover thy locks, make the, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. You know, so you know, you how about Shimei is is you know, you know, he's gonna it's, it's gonna take divine intervention to to come back and, and to deliver, you know, you know, because deliverance is prophecy as well, you know. Um, you know, Yahweh Bashim al Shah's return is prophecy, you know. You know, everything that that you know, end time signs, you know, is is you know, it's all leading up to the, it's all leading up to Yahweh Bashim al Shah's return, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's what this world needs because, you know, uh, you know, you have, you know, you have a lot of wickedness, you know, playing out, you know. Uh, you have a lot of wickedness playing out in, in, in this, you know, in this in this wicked beast system. You know, you got a, you, got, you got a lot of you got a lot of things going on. You know, mm -hmm. that needs to be brought down. You know, like it says in in verse one, come down, sit in the sit, sit in the dust, over his daughter of Babylon. All right, you know, so you know you have basically, you know, you have things that that need to come to pass. All right. Can I add something too? Uh -huh. Babylon represents it means not represents it means confusion, but ball. So it's a lot of confusion going on here in America. America is the home of confusion. That's right. And America uh, goes back to bitterness. You know, America, uh, Salaki, uh, actually what I wanted to say was that it said, come and sit in the dust. Dust also, sitting in the dust also represents confusion. It's mass confusion, you know? And uh, the shame of America is being shown. That's right. By the way of how uh, uh, this system Right, democracy has been spread across the world. You see what's happening. You have all these other different countries rising up, right? Because of that democracy. Democracy destroys countries. It, it destroys ways of living, right? And it brings forth confusion, homosexuality, right? Putting the man over the woman. I mean, putting Salaki, putting the woman over the man, you know? Your children being disobedient. There's no laws being followed here. You know, and let me let me read something from Exodus, uh, not Exodus, Second Edris, fifteen, and I started verse six, going along with what the brother said, dealing with the wickedness, right? For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. That's right. And their hurt, hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as concerning their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves behold the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me and the souls of the just complain continually so we're continually com uh, complaining to the heavenly father yahweh bahashem yahweh shah about what's being done you know the wickedness 
what our people are going through, right? The rest of our people, they're not doing this. They love, they love oppression. They love uh, uh, Egypt, right? They love being in captivity, all right? And so, uh, and also it says that the righteous blood cries unto me, that's the Israelites. When every time an Israelite that that they don't, that don't know that he's an Israelite, right? He don't know that he's, uh, you know, he didn't wake up, so to speak. When he goes to the spiritual realm, he's crying to the Heavenly Father. He knows the truth, you know? Just like when uh, uh, Cain and Abel, when, when Abel was slew, it said that the blood, the, the blood of his brother cried unto the Lord. So we're crying continuously, and our brothers that have passed away in the truth and not in the truth, our spirits are crying unto the Lord to bring that judgment. And so what you have is, is Amos 3. You know, surely the Lord would do nothing, but he would reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. That's right, so the God. prophets are crying continually, right, for the wickedness and the abominations that are being done in the midst thereof. Right? You go to Ezekiel 9. You want to be, you want to be, can you get that from me out? Yeah, in, in Ezekiel 9 and 4, you want to be a uh, uh, mark uh, uh, from a uh, mark of exemption. Yeah, yeah so like yeah, that water. You want to be marked from from that judgment. So that's why we're doing this. Yeah, our righteousness are as filthy rags and so forth, right? But we hope and pray that the Lord will have mercy on us because somebody has to be those blameless blameless souls that's going to be saved. Because you do have a remnant. The Lord has a remnant that's known as the blameless souls that will be saved also. You know, can I? Yeah, yeah you can get that. All right. Yeah. Um, Ezekiel nine and verse four. And the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of, of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and they cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right. So that that mark is the wa in the Hebrew, which means exempt from judgment. So that's the mark you want to have, man. You want to do everything in your power to get right with the Lord, if you're a believer. Many people, they don't believe in this truth. So count it a blessing that the Lord has have, have woken you up in these very last times, you know? You want to be marked with that uh, uh, with, with that ex exemption from judgment, you know? Salaki, uh, I was going to get something. I forgot what I was going to get, Salaki. You want to add something? Yeah, if brothers don't mind, can somebody get Matthew 24 and uh, 14? I, yeah. And it's, um, or if it's not that, it's supposed to be and this gospel. That's all. And this three. gospel. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. All right. This is Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for <laughs> a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come. And that's a beautiful scripture because a lot of people get that scripture wrong. They say in the gospel. No. And it's in this gospel. It's a certain it's a specific uh, message, you know what I'm saying? What the gospel is is the truth for the scriptures, and one is going to be preaching to the, all the world to uh, as a witness, and then shall the end come. Going back to what the point of uh, the brothers are saying about prophecy speaking, prophecy speaking more and more because the gospel is being furthered by the hopeful elect, you know what I'm saying? The true men of the Lord. This message has been being preached since um, the 1970s, starting with Elder Abba Bivens. And since then, you see America has been on a slow and a, a very slow and fast declination. Why? Because the true gospel is being brought out. And, that, and that's why you see all these prophecies starting to come to pass. And then the Lord also said that um, if the days should not be shortened, no flesh shall be saved. Yep. So you, you just go, keep going with the point that, you know what I'm saying? You see, every, if, if you got spiritual eyes to see, like the brother Loya said, you will see certain things happening. Why? Because his gospel is coming out, the truth of the, uh, the Holy Scriptures, that we are the Israelites, that the Bible speaks of. And not only that, that the so-called white man who is biblical nationality East, is Esau Edom, Idumia, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. So now that this truth is coming out and that and you see that the days are being shortened, you know what I'm saying? All these prophecies are coming to pass. Right. And that's all I got, brothers. All right. I got something from, uh, this is Sirach 5 and 7, one of my favorite scriptures, because as you see things coming to pass, you don't put nothing off. You don't put off from changing. You don't say, oh, I have time, you know, to, uh, to, uh, to, to, uh, get right. To, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I have time to get right. No, it's either now or never. That's right. You know, the Lord had. You, we have. We done had years and years, and, and time enough time to get right. It's gonna come a time when the, when the doors of mercy are just gonna close. You're just gonna be out there. Don't need no excuse. Yeah, no excuse. None. Right. So this is Sirach five and seven. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, 
and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So when you think you cool, okay, you know, I know I'm an Israelite, but I still I still want to continue to, to eat my pork, my crab, my shrimp, my lobster. I still want to do adultery. I can't stop it. You know, hey man, you're going to be destroyed just straight up. You heard what the scripture says. It says, make no tarry. Don't wait. You know, you, you want to start uh, uh, making the right steps today. Now, I'm not saying you're just going to stop uh, committing wickedness, right? And as soon as you hear the truth, but it's stages. The thing is, the Lord reads the mind. He looks, he reads your, your, your mind, man. You know, he know what you're thinking, you know, what you're going to say. He already knows all that. So what you want to do, you want to start with steps, man. All right, I'm going to start, you know, uh, following the laws, you know, doing the best I can, man. It, it's just that simple. That's right. There's it, it, no other way to explain it, you know. That's why I'm kind of rambling, but, you know, it's... There's no other way to explain it. It's so like if I might add, the beautiful thing about that verse is it says, in thou, in thou security. What people don't understand about the Bible is that it's written in a, um, a very uh, um, spiritual way because uh, the Most High God, Yahweh Bashim and Shah, he's all knowing. So there's, it's, um, certain, it's reasons why certain words are in these scriptures. Like for instance, security. Because Yahweh Bashim and Shah knows that people are going to be out here uh, lacking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're going to be feeling safe. You know what I'm saying? And it goes on to a scripture um, in 2 Thessalonians 5, you know what I'm saying, where, where it says, um, the, uh, the day of the Lord, so come as a, okay, you got it? Yeah, bro. No, no, Salak, yeah. No, well, I got when they say peace and safety, Salak. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. With this one, with 1 Thessalonians 5. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Okay, this is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. That's right. You see how beautifully those precepts match up. Peace and safety. I'm in my security. Mm -hmm. I'm securing my peace and safety. And then what happens? You get caught lacking. Mm -hmm. Because um the book of um I think it's the book of Luke. It speaks on um not only book of Luke but the book of Matthew speaks on that um um the servant that is not expecting his his um his master to come is going you know what I'm saying he, he's doing whatever he wants and then his his uh, master comes at an unexpected hour they cut him asunder you and know what I'm saying beat with many stripes beat with many but, stripes and, <laughs> yeah you know you, you, you keep going out wait hey all this goes on and all that all everything uh, uh ultimately goes back to prophecy you know what I'm saying because the holy apostles spoke on uh, spoke on these things about how some people would turn away from the truth, you know what I'm saying? How some people wouldn't hearken, you know, the parable of the sower, you know what I'm saying? All these things, and it just goes back to the point. This 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 Bible is a spiritual book, and it's written in a, a level of omniscience that you you know that the uh, the Most High Father, this is His will in this book, because how how does He know all these things? You know what I'm saying? To, for it fits perfectly to a T, you know what I'm saying? That's how that's how people are, you know what I'm saying? If if you not if you not expecting certain things to happen, you're not gonna prepare for it. And I go, it just goes back to that slothful servant. You know, the, the book of Proverbs says, uh, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. You know what I'm saying? You got to seek the Lord early. And, and it, all, it also goes in to say uh, in another book, you know, seek the Lord while he may be found. Hey, and all this is just prophecy. You know, um, that's all I got, brothers. You got a scripture. Oh, you got two or more. He got one scripture and I got two scriptures in there. We can close out with that. Okay, this is Revelation 1, starting at verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and those clouds are the chariots. So, so, so the chariots are part, of, are part of prophecy as well. Those chariots are, are, are our deliverance, you know, mm -hmm. from Yahweh Bashim al his ultimate chariot, which are going to deliver his, his, um, his, his elect men, you know. And it says, And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him in all kindreds of the earth. Shall well because of him, even so are mine. And, and that's proof. I mean, because y'all so lucky. Yeah. But it said that the ones, shall, the ones that pierced him, shall see him. So that proves that reincarnation is also in the scriptures. Everything is reincarnated. It's not no YOLO. It's right. Not none of that. You know. So the ones of us that are that, that will be delivered, Lord willing, we are those men. That's why we're back to be delivered. You know, to be to be risen up. Because the Lord's risen, He's rising up, risen up the house of uh, David. That's right. Amos the ninth chapter. You know, 
Lord willing, we are the house of David being rose up, and that's prophecy as well. All right, so like if I might, and if I might add to that point, quick point, um, it says the book of life. Those names in the book of life were written since the foundation of the earth. You yep. know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody walking around here 10,000 years old, so that proves a reincarnation as well. Yep. All right, so I got two more. Now, since we since we talking about the signs of the times, you know, so to speak, everything come to pass. This is Ezekiel three because we know that the ju uh, the judgment of the Lord is fierce and it's, it's going to come down upon our people really hard. Ezekiel three and eighteen. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and Thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will require that hand. So that's why we also come out and preach, you know, we preach to warn our people because why? We know the visions, you know, that the Lord gave us. And that's we right. Know the times that we're in. If thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul, right? Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness, and commit iniquity, and I lay in slaki, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall surely die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall surely die. His sins and his righteousness, which he hath done, shall not be remembered, but his blood will require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live, because he warned. Also, thou hast delivered thy soul. And that's the main point. One more scripture. Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. We are acknowledging our sins uh, uh, to the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? That's why you have repentance. Turn back from your, your wicked ways so you won't be destroyed. And even if you pass away, right, or like how it says in Revelations 20, right? Some of us are gonna be beheaded. You're gonna receive a reward for that, man. You know? I will go and return to my place to they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction. They will seek me early. So that's what it's about. You know, we see the times, we see what, what's coming to pass and we're seeking the Lord early to the best of our ability. All right? It, uh, any other brother? Y'all got something? Uh, if we about to we about to close it out. Yeah. Uh, can somebody grab Ecclesiastes 12 and 13? I always like to I always like to end my lessons off with this scripture. All right. It's the, uh 12 and 13 to, to 14. That's it. Yeah, I can get it. All right, it's a lot. You said 13 and 14, right? Yes, sir. All right. Come. All right, so this is Ecclesiastes 12, 13 and 14. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment and with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. All right. And like he like says, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's the, the whole duty of man, you know what I'm saying? What, what man? The righteous men, you know what I'm saying? Because this, this, these commandments weren't given to every nation. It was mm -hmm. only given to the nation of Yasha Allah. And that's what we're doing out here right now. We're keeping these commandments because we were commanded to come out here and warn the people. Mm -hmm. We were commanded to believe on Yahweh Shah. And not only we were commanded to believe on Yahweh Shah, but we were commanded to, to, pre uh, to, to preach everything that he told us to preach. Um, can somebody get Matthew 28? Um, where he said he commanded, he commanded the disciples to, um, to preach everything that he had taught them. I don't know if it's Matthew 28, but um, that's the scripture I'm looking for. All right. Yeah, it says, hold on, it's a lot. Yeah, 
this is after he uh, was risen. I don't know Salat here. I don't know Salat here. Yeah, this is after he had risen. So this is Matthew 28. And I'll start at 19. Matthew 28, 19 to 20. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all these, all the Salaki, all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. And that you, you see how powerful that is because the Mashiach at his own mouth said, Go and teach what I taught you. Not go, not go remix it and teach what you want to teach. That's why you. That's why anybody, any of you Christianitors, you fake Christians that come out here and say anything about uh, Paul being, you know, what I'm saying, going to Paul and saying he contradict Yahweh Shai. No, if he if he's contradicting Yahweh Shai, he's not a disciple of Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. and that that's a that's a lie because Paul was a disciple of Yahweh Shai. So any of the New Testament writers were teaching what Yahweh Shai taught. That's a that's a cut on you uh, Christianitors. You know what I'm saying. And with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. You know what I'm saying? Do your best to rehearse the righteous acts. And uh, uh, have faith in the, uh, the Hamashiach. You know what I'm saying? And also have faith in yourself. Have faith that you are probably the hopeful elect. You know, that's that's all I got, brothers. Salaki, since you said that, I got one more. This is Matthew 5 and 17. It says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. That's right. So I'm, I'm, that's all I want. That, that, see, with that, you gotta make these scriptures line up. You can't, you can't have one scripture contradict another. Otherwise, that would make the Most High the author of confusion, and that, that's not, that's not the case. So you know what I'm saying? You see out, you see out the own Hamashiach's mouth, Yahushua Hamashiach. He said he ain't come to destroy, the, destroy the law. He ain't come to destroy the prophets. He came to fulfill. Mm -hmm. He told his disciples to teach everything I've commanded you. And everything he commanded the disciples and taught the disciples, and not only the disciples, but he taught the people was repentance. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. So that's why we're out here doing what Yahweh Mashiach told us to do. Go out to the highways and byways and bid them to the marriage. Yep. That's all I got, brothers. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Being kind of worthy to, to, that you be able to escape um, to escape all these things all in, in the wrath to come from Yahweh Mashiach. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. Yeah, that's, that's all I got. Uh, Lord willing, we hope this le uh, lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. And uh, as we close, we're going to give our honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Wakakadash. We just say, uh, give double honors again to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, who teach in Ruel. We're going to say, uh, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Say, Kwan Yasha Allah. Halawaya. Halawaya. Halawaya.